Hello everybody, Merry Christmas, and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man Progress series. On the last episode, we made some diary progress and got Haunted Mind done, so we now have access to Salve Amulets. In the same vein of doing early quests that I probably should have done a while ago, this week my only goal is to do the Path of Gluffrey. I've been wanting to head to TOA for a while and to do other content like that, and the warped scepter that you get after doing that quest from fighting the terror birds would be a huge help for that. Especially since we're probably over a year away from getting our first trident. Well, probably not that long, but that's what it feels like at least. We are starting this episode at 1765 total level, and I can't wait to get into it. Ooh, I got a spirit seed from this birdhouse run. That's always nice. I guess I'm gonna get it back into farming contracts for a little while. I don't quite remember what I needed. I don't think the white berries is accurate, so let's see what I get, and we'll ask Jane what our contract is. Not bad, always love to see a Ranar seed. It's gonna take a while, but I think I might plant all those Calquats as well. That's like 80k XP right there. And since we got some Hispori seeds from this farming, I can try for the bucket. Never lucky, but we do get a farming level, level 77. Oh, and I think we have the level for the Anima seed now. I have no idea what Ayasaur does, but I guess every time I fight Hispori, I should go ahead and pop one in the Anima patch. Uh, apparently it reduces the chance of disease. Not bad. I've been doing some Melee Slayer in the Catacombs of Corinne. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get my Melee stats up. Uh, I'd like to get my strength up to like 85 or so, but we're a good ways off from that. Anyway, there's level 71 Slayer. I don't know if that unlocks anything cool because we did miss the pop-up. Yeah, nothing at all. Always love to see a totem piece. Maybe we'll get Skodos this week. Okay, the time has come to unlock bigger and better so that I can do superior Slayer monsters for a hard chance at the heart. I actually do have Imbued Heart on my Iron Man, and this leaves me with one skip. Medium Casket from the Dagonoth Task. What are we going to get? Ooh, a Heraldic Shield. Too bad it's not a rune one. Decided to take a League's break, and I got a crossbow. That's awesome, man. I don't think I'll ever see this in the main game, but yeah, let's give it a shot. I'm kind of regretting not taking range as my relic, because with a crossbow, I'd be a machine gun right now. And back in the main game, I absolutely love Dust Devil tasks, and I know meleeing them is not exactly ideal, but it's pretty good XP, and you can just tag a couple of them and go do something else. And there's level 78 strength, which puts us at 96 combat. Once again, I'm having some pretty crazy luck getting a looting back from thugs. I think I need to stock up some last man standing points or something. So I've got to build a stash unit with an amulet of glory, and to do that I had to make a mushroom pie, it was a whole ordeal. But now we have a reliable way to get a plus 4 boost, which is nice. And was making that glory worth it? You know, I'd say so. Wow. A gothic play body and a master clue. Awesome. Uh-oh, Fallow the Bard can ruin my day. And we have a Brimstone Key from our Streak Task, and honestly, that's not bad, that's like a 40k Alk. Alright, I've been so lucky with the clues lately, and wow, okay. Okay. I don't think I can use that, because there's no stash units that require the Rune Defender, so... Sadly, I think that's a drop. Dang, I'd, I've never gotten that of my iron. 
Oh, that's actually kind of sad. I think I'm going to have to drop it. Oh, well. I don't even want to know how rare that is. I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh, man. I would have loved having that. Man, the GP just rolls in from these hard clues. I do love the ability to do Proselyte Slayer in the Catacombs. It's one of the most chill things in the game. And there's level 79 Strength, which does not give us a combat level, but we're getting close to 100. Level 72 Slayer, if I remember correctly, that's the level for Kuresks. Oh, nope, Skeletal Wyverns. Nice. Ooh, another master clue. That'd be nice. Fallow absolutely ruined my last one, so let's see if we can do this. You know what? I think I can do Brassican Mages. Let's give it a shot. And as usual, anytime I get a crystal key together, I'm going to come to Priftinus and turn it into enhanced key. Just to get a shot at the Dragonstone armor. And what do you know? That tooth half gives us another full key. So, awesome. Alright, this is my first time in a couple weeks doing a Brassican Mage on this account, so I don't remember if this is enough food, but I'm gonna pray Augury, and, uh, or sorry, Mystic Might, I don't have Augury yet, and yeah, let's just give it a shot. Oh yeah, we had plenty of food. I guess sometimes they can be humble like this, and sometimes they'll absolutely shred you no matter what you're wearing. And the big question is, can we do the next step? Uh, yeah, actually, we need to death pile, but we can do that. Alright, this will be my first time trying the Ancient Wizard Trio in this account, and I definitely didn't forget my spade last time and have to come back. I think I know how to do it. Uh, last time I did it, I, you know, was on a almost maxed combat iron. Oh, oh, I didn't know they poisoned you. I gotta get out of here. I guess I'm getting anti-poison. Alright, Ancient Wizard Trio take three. I think I need to focus the Melee down first. And after that, the Ranger and the Major. And it gets easier the longer you... Wow, that, that's a big hit. See if we can get him around the corner here. Okay, nice. I love this location for it. And yeah, we'll just take him out one at a time. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. And I guess the question now is, can we do this step? And yes, we can. Oh, it's in the sulfur area. I wonder if the sulfur can hit you, or the clouds can hit you. If so, that's kind of trolling. So it turns out the clouds can hit you during this, and they have a couple times, but luckily right now they're trying to ignore me, so not going to complain. Oh, a free prayer pod. Nice. And can we do the next step? This is getting kind of exciting. Uh, Shazian Graveyard, yeah. Okay, and that's where it ends. I don't have a single Barrow's item except for the Aram Staff, and I alked it, so... I guess we need to go back to Barrow someday, but I don't really feel like it today. That's a heartbreaker. Our daily chance of the bucket gave us a hard combat task, Hespori Adept. Nice. And let's see if we can get the bucket today. Or if we have to wait until we get another Hespori seed. That's rough, not even a good uh, herb seed. So lately I've been using Barbarian Fishing as my end of the day wind down activity and it's pretty relaxing even with my limited inventory space. And there's our first fishing level in a while, level 73. I'd like to get the level for minnows eventually, but we're a long ways off from that. 
All right, well, it's finally time to start Path of Gluffrey. I'm kind of excited. I'm going to read all the dialogue this time. I've never done this quest before. I know it's in RS3 or something, but let's get into it. Okay, wow, these guys are absolutely tearing me apart. I don't know what to pray against, but let me see if I can trap one of them behind the corner like I did the ancient mages. Okay, cool. Nice. And it turns out I brought just enough food to deal with this last one, if he decides to be humble and not hit me a bunch of times in a row. That was actually a lot closer than I'd care to admit. And that's the Path of Gluffrey complete for a ton of XP. Wow, 20k Slayer. That's awesome. 5k Thieving is a little less exciting, but we'll take it. 5k Magic, same. And 30k Strength, wow, definitely we'll take that. I think I need a Leaks Break. And back in Leagues, I finally have enough League points to unlock another Relic. And I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Soul Stealer because I want to AFK a bunch of bosses. And I think with the right setup, this will be possible. Cool. And this also increases our League's XP multiplier. I don't think I'll be getting the final Relic. It's just like there's two weeks left in Leagues. And yeah, I'm... Not exactly the fastest player. Okay, maybe this is too AFK. These ground items are ridiculous. I think I need to turn them off or something. But yeah, it's restoring my prayer. Well, that is going to do it for me this week. I know it was a bit of a shorter episode, and that's honestly because of Christmas and all that, and it's getting to the point where it's harder to get content for this account because the grinds are taking longer. But despite that, I'm still having a lot of fun, and we're getting into a really exciting stage where we can start doing some actual PVM. In addition to that, it's kind of dawning on me how close I am to the quest cape. I mean, Desert Treasure 2 is going to be a really tough one, but I think I can get it done pretty soon. I still need to go to the Tombs of a Masket for my Divine Rune Pouch. Another goal of mine is getting enough Dragonstones to upgrade the Jewelry Box in my player-owned house. And I think I'm going to be doing Slayer for GP so that I can finish my Altar in my POH and be able to change between any of the spellbooks at will. Anyways, apologies for the lack of video last week. All the Christmas stuff has kept me pretty busy. And speaking of, I hope you had a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate. And I can't wait to see you in the new year. Bye.